Hey, good day, gentlemen. Welcome to another 1v1 uh, where we take a look at the Soulmaster vs. Speedfire matches sent in by Soulmaster. So, yeah, it's been a while since I made a couple of videos. I sh will make a batch today and you'll probably see them through the week. And uh, let's just do a pause real quick here. Uh, why can't I see any buildings? Uh, well, that's interesting. Okay, so at least we know that the Speedfire has the airport. Alright, and uh, he's used decryption and the Soulmaster, well, yeah, the Soulmaster is doing the uh, USSR, uh, interesting build, cancelled a couple of buildings, two barracks got cancelled, um, is making $20 artillery building, uh, $10 barracks and airport as well. Uh, Speedfire finally getting a depot, so did rush his airport, which seems kind of weird, like pretty much was off, is not pumping money at the moment, so that's strange. So Ishaks are out, a uh, couple of Strelkers are out as well, really solid typical strategy of just using light infantry to just apply a pressure right on the start. Uh, Ishaks getting chased away by uh, Obviously the better fighter, the P-40 Warhawk. Uh, not much going on, so let's see if we can see the cards. Cell Blitz Decryption for the Speedfire and just Double Blitz for Soulmaster. I like how Soulmaster just uh, knew the airport was going to come in and uh, uh, save this uh, card for Middle Rus. Not that he's using it, uh, but uh, he'll... He kind of tried to push in along, uh, did cancel, and uh, is trying to snipe, nope. Can't really decide whether to snipe or not to snipe. Is going to push ahead with uh, two AAs, uh, two Strelkies and Recon, and Speedfire. Speedfire has no other things besides three fighters, so if he had Recon or Willy or something, he'd be available for sniping, like uh, maybe these AAs or these Strelki. Pumps out two willies right off the bat. Soulmaster decides to use his third card for the fake air assault uh, just uh, so Speedfire could make uh, something more. Okay, sorry about that synchronization complete. Uh, well, there's an armor base coming there. Two, two fighters coming in for strike, uh, strife but loses the armor base in the process. What a well played the snipe by Soulmaster, just uh, didn't lose the stroke even. Really magnificent fight so far. Speedfire is kind of doesn't enjoy that this thing is on here and, uh, and the snipe is there. Oh, gets the decoy. Well, snipes the stroke on that side. A lot of action going here. Uses the camo as a third card. So it's almost there doesn't have a lot going on. One stroke survived. Didn't add any new depots or buildings. Both players sitting on two depots. Uh, Speedfire making another barracks. Oh, one thing the Soulmaster finished was the Yaks. The active will go down. Should and let's see if the if he gets back. Speedfire pumps a couple of GIs out just to, uh, just to make sure. Loses the fighter against the axe. Uses the fake assault as the fourth card. Doesn't seem that Soulmaster has used any card, so he has one extra. Oh, and uh, Strelke is <laughs> interestingly going in. Yeah, he uses his fourth card for a blitz. Oh, what an unlucky. Will recapture? Will not recapture? Will maybe sit on it for a while. Interestingly enough, uh, th this thing is beeping. No armor is this. I wonder what, is it, what it is. Pushes with a couple of stewards. Chases the nasty recons back. Yeah, he's chasing uh, decoys in the middle. So 
well, they can't can't quite get the damage in. Not sure whether GIs can actually pop a thing. Oh, they have bazookas. They can definitely pop a thing. Pretty good damage. Is placing another depot, what I presume. Yes, another depot, third depot. Strangely, Soulmaster hasn't been added a new depot recently. And God is AHA -A -A chased away and actually has to defend with the recons. Gets a decoys as well, since there is no AA to cover him. Uses the fanatism to actually beat Stewart's back. And meanwhile, Speedfire has finished his depot. Uh, has a couple of willies to just see what's going on. Overall, is overall doesn't have much fighters as it seems. A lot of decoys for the Soulmaster. Although Speedfire, yeah, doesn't have any fighters. We'll route a couple of Speedfire's actual fighters there. Not a lot going on. We'll probably add a depot right now. 40 bucks supply depot uh, to equalize the supply depot count. It, we're gonna be 3 versus 3. Some of us slightly ahead in the points. Not slightly, that's pretty a lot. Speedfire is doing probably the Rangers upgrade. Uh, let's see when it finishes. Probably will have a better clue. Yeah, a pretty passy match, although... Uh, captures the... Captures back the armor base finally. Pump out a couple of stewards. Oh, Soulmaster has actually four depots at the moment. Yeah, did finish uh, research upgrade on the barracks. Heavy infantry is done for Speedfire. So let's see if the Soulmaster can defend this push. Is adding another building. Uh, what I would presume it's yeah an AT building, of course. Makes total sense. Since he sees a couple more tanks getting added, and he lost the uh, to previous two AA stacks to the stewards was able to beat with them back with the recons but it doesn't seem that there are much recons left in the field quite passive match nobody's really using infantry to uh, flank around and the heavy infantry are in the game as well interestingly enough oh those are fakes pumping out not an upgrade on an actual airport Speedfire will go ahead and try to take down this depot for 40 bucks. Soulmaster is defending with two recons and an 80 gun. Should be easy win. Let's see if the Speedfire will retreat. Stewards can take a lot of damage actually. Interestingly enough. Is focusing down this recon. Doesn't use fanatism. And is just like didn't even retreat this tanks, just pushing forward. Pretty weird. One anti tank gun, a well placed anti tank gun over here. Uh, really admire the protection because you'll never know. <laughs> one things, what one problem is when you always you got your enemy running in here and then you have to like relocate the whole army. Have infantry coming in. Recons will probably be able to chase them away along with fighters. Fourth depot adding added in for Speedfire. Depot count is now 3 versus 4. Let's see if the Speedfire can now defend. Yeah, Speedfire already puts, puts himself to the defense mode. Guardia is available for Soulmaster and he will try to force something now. No AA for the Speedfire, as well as no fires. 
At least I can't see any of them. Uh, fakes have ended. Has extended his camel time. Let's see if he can stack. Gives up forest easily, but we'll probably camp around here. Oh, is oh yeah, one fighter was there. Interestingly enough. Did it? Did the Speedfire actually know that this isn't a fake? Probably. It doesn't chase them away with the axe, especially double the axe. Could try to flank it. Really sneaky uh, fighter here from uh, Speedfire. Nobody know know this is it. And uh, if you like happen to play very zoomed in, you will go like this, and you'll never know that the fighter is like standing here waiting for a truck to appear to get sniped on your headquarter. So let's oh. Speedfire has a Pershing to fight with the Guardia off and as well as Light AT. Let's see if he's able to defend. Rotates his troops a bit. Chases the Willy away. Gets another Pershing. So, Sawmaster has probably already started research for the Su 100s. Or at least Su 85s, since uh, light anti tank guns won't really cut it. Although, let's just like, oh, you see a Pershing? Let's go Su 100, and uh, maybe it's. You should consider using the wooded AT, but it's always hard. The Su is much easier uh, to use, especially in defense. So the Pazaro again, 4 4, and uh, Soulmaster is still leading in the points. We'll, uh, we'll uh, happily retreat back. Won't take a chance, won't uh, really make a sacrifice to get that depot. Speedfire has reclaimed the uh, forest, uh, and, but some masters just uh, happily waiting for the Su 100s to just get a right counter against the Pershings. Has his Air Force sorted out as well. I'm in speed, speed doing anything. Speedfire uses Blitz on mid. Soulmaster loses the re front recon there. We'll place a couple of heavy infantry in the head and while IT gun shoots some. Su 100 research complete, so we're gonna see the Su 100s getting pumped out as fast as they can. Speedfire will once again try to push for this depot. Realizes that he needs an economical advantage. Oh, the anti tank gun just putting in damage, not really getting focused. Strangely enough. Oh, just waxed infantry. Is able to get the depot with the Pershings. Su 100 are now present. Let's see if he starts pumping more infantry. Yeah, the Pershings are getting a quite a good stack. Rangers are still coming in. Tough fight so far. AA is pushing there as well. One AD gun still left. Let's see, the fighter is still there, present. I think everyone's forgot about it. Let's set up a defensive line. Doesn't really want to. Let's see if Speedfire uses dispersing to maybe get some angle in or. Nah, he will rather stack them and use extra infantry as long as a couple more him. Pershings on the field. Sus are getting shots off now. Ooh, does focus the units. Pershings kind of forced now back to retreat. Gets a couple more. One more Pershing route in. Don't be surprised if this Pershing lives. Yep, just gets popped. So Master now in a pretty good lead. Is not able to push the Sus away. Oh, Micro manages 
uh, this is pretty bad. This may be picked off if the Zeus get one more shot. Remember, the Zeus can't really fire when moving, so it's, prob it's pretty problematic to uh, to use them as offensive against Pershings. Like, and I think the Soulmaster did a pretty good job of taking those two Pershings out because if they the Pershings will will shoot them on the move but the Zeus won't so the thing is it's pretty hard let's see if the Soulmaster sees his opening right straight here if he can block the Zeus from retreating like just lock the line so they can't get to for the forest and Vardia can kinda just roll in there will require a couple more reinforcements is going to push now at least for this first Mm, the few Hishals really get off on the infantry. Perfect mm, micro with the Zeus. Gets one Pershing off. Spiffer trying to uh, kind of make a concave and um, uh, trying to flank the Zeus. Pershings are unable to shoot when the three Zeus are trying to get, like, focused. You see, the Soulmaster will use the Pershings to get one Pershing instead of just doing, like, you know, this attack move. He will use this attack move on one specific Pershing to get, get it destroyed. Soulmaster is on two depots, and they're gonna end soon, as well as as well as Speedfire. So nothing really changed in that compartment. Gets more infantry to secure the Zeus as well as a couple more Zeus. Pretty typical uh, fight between USSR and Pershings. We'll try to make a risky push here. Let's see how it works out. Zeus are getting this. Yeah, just uses three or four Su shots to get down the Pershing. Really cost efficient. A spot uh, spots this as well. Only one recon on the field. Loses some Su's in process. Yeah, but damages. Forces the retreat actually. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the beacons this <laughs> for no apparent reason, other than it's pretty open to this three rangers. Oh, has to blitz because the rangers were actually pretty close. Let's see, wants wants to get the depot really. Pushing's trying to get a couple of damage in. From the sides, at least. Oh, th these are into action as well. One of time Manages to route all of the Sus. Interestingly enough, these Sus are really trying to get the damage in. Oh, and manages to land the shot. Pretty intense fights, like getting off the shots at 500, uh, 500 range. Both of them trying to outsmart each other with uh, focusing fire on each other. Surprise attack against that infantry. Oh, see, managed to route both Zeus with one pushing. Cellmaster will use Fana. Uh, push forwards, making the Pershing to retreat. If the Zeus get uh, off the shot, oh, 
and <laughs> it ends right there for that little pershing. Uh, it seems that uh, Spitfire has no money and isn't able to defend in any sorts. 400 points of army. Well, there's a round. Should be around 300, 400, 400 including planes army. <laughs> it doesn't want to give up the barracks. We'll fight to the end, it seems, or we'll surrender just uh, just now. It's game over, and the Soulmaster has shown that uh, being cost efficient with Zeus, if you manage to like micro and focus down the Pershings, the Pershings will not be very efficient. Well, they shouldn't be in first place. And the Su 100s are probably my one of my favorite tank destroyers. I can't really think of any uh, other maybe fireflies like fireflies and su 100s are yeah and that's the surrender so, well thank you for watching this was an uh, interesting game uh, I like it how it developed back and forth and see you in another episode